This video explains us all about plate marching types, so we're just going to start with this. You've got the continental crust and the oceanic crust. Now, if you remember rightly, uh, the oceanic crust is heavier, it's younger, it gets destroyed, okay, and it's uh, it's thinner. The continental crust is older, um, it's a lot thicker, up to 70 kilometers thick, and it's it's lighter. Now, that's important when we're when two different plate types mix uh, and clash together. Uh, that will lead to different types of, of plate margin, but it tends to be that's why the oceanic crust gets pushed down and destroyed because it's it's denser or, or heavier. Okay, so we're going to look at types of plate margin. And uh, just remember, a plate margin marks the point where two of the Earth's tectonic plates meet, and at those points, the Earth's crust it's either destroyed, or we get creation of new crust. Um, it collides to create mountains or it slides past itself. Now, I don't actually like the word slider. It more grinds past itself because uh, rocks are really tough, abrasive substance. OK, so here you've got a, a destructive or convergent margin. And down here you can see there's a slice through uh, South America showing you uh, the general line of this cross section from the Pacific Ocean across to the South Atlantic. OK, so. Here we've got the convection currents in the in the mantle. They're driving the plates together. OK, so South America has been driven westwards. And the Nazca plate across here is being driven eastwards. Now, because the Nazca plate is oceanic and is um, is denser, it subducts down beneath the continental plate. And the continental plate folds up to create these mountains, the Andes Mountains, um, on the western side of, of South America. Now, as that oceanic plate sinks down, bits of it melt under pressure and because of the heat of the Earth's interior. And that magma can rise up to create volcanoes like Chai Ten in, um, in Chile. OK, so we've got volcanoes right the way along the Andes Fold Mountains. The other thing that can happen is that this area here, the subduction zone, okay, where the plates touch each other, um, they get stuck together because of friction, strain energy can build up. And when that strain energy is released, we get earthquakes. We get huge earthquakes there. Um, and unfortunately, that earthquake zone is also underneath a trench, okay, so underneath a deep water ocean trench. And from those, we can get tsunamis. So destructive plate margins, plates are destroyed. And they're very, very destructive in terms of human activity as well. So you can see some fold mountains there, and you can see the folds in the in the rock. Okay, uh, they would normally be horizontally bedded, but they've been pushed by tectonic forces into folds. You can see some fold mountains here, and here you can see some uh, computerized images of of trenches. Okay, deep water ocean trenches where one oceanic crust is being pushed underneath. Uh, continental crust and that leads to a lot of our mountain ranges and a lot of our islands. The second plate margin type is constructive or divergent plate margins where the plates are moving apart. So you can see the convection currents there moving in opposite directions. So that forces the Eurasian plate to move east, the North American plate to move west. That allows magma to rise up through cracks and gaps in the crust. It erupts onto the surface. Uh, volcanic to, through volcanic vents and where that emerges above the surface of the water we get islands like Iceland created and under the sea we've got a ridge of submarine mountains and volcanoes created by that ridge as well so you can see that running there down the the middle of the Atlantic we've got fault lines running across as well transform fault lines you see the southern end of, of Ireland there the western tip of the United Kingdom, you've got the eastern seaboard, the United States, and so on. Um, so uh, as you move away from the ridge, the, the, the rocks get older. Okay, and then your last plate margin type that you know about is conservative. Here we have one plate moving faster than the other. Okay, so uh, the Pacific plate is moving relatively faster, and the North American plate, sorry about that, is moving in the same direction but slower. Now, what that means is um, the two plates grind against each other at different speeds. Strain energy builds up where friction holds them together. That energy gets greater and greater and greater. And when it's too great for the, the frictional force holding it, it creates earthquakes, which is the violent shaking of, of the earth, which is why we get earthquakes right along this San Andreas fault, which you can see 
Here's the, the crack in the Earth's crust. No volcanoes there, no magma escapes. So tasks wise, you've got a video to watch. Okay, watch it right through. Um, complete the flow chart about what's going on in constructive plate margins. Explain why we get earthquakes but not volcanoes at conservative plate margins. And draw an annotated diagram to show what happens at a, a destructive plate margin. So I'll show you that on the um, on there. You've got you've got the labels as well for the for the destructive plate margin. Okay, and you can have a go at that Quizlet set. So the worksheet um, you can contrast the uh, contrast the characteristics of continental and oceanic crust there. There's the flow chart that you can just type straight in in each one. And then why do we get earthquakes at but not volcanoes at conservative margins? And there's your label diagram on the labels are underneath, so you can type those into the various boxes above. Uh, we'll just finish up with a little a little dad joke. Um, what a what a tectonic plates do when they meet. They shake lands.